Hi guys, it's Lucy and today I'm going to be doing an Owl Crate unboxing. This is the January Owl Crate. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last Owl Crate. I want to say that. I feel like I say that in every video, but this time I'm pretty sure it's going to be my last one. So let's just open this. The theme is Classic Remix, so this is what the card is. Try not to look at it because, you know, spoilers. So I have no theories about what's in this box because I really honestly forgot to think about it. I don't know... It's obviously going to be some kind of retelling of a classic. Don't know which classic or anything like that, but let's see what it is. I don't know of any new releases that are coming out that are that, but I really haven't been paying attention to new releases this month. So it's a surprise, but first we're just gonna take through the worms. And the thing on top is, I think it's soap. This is nice. Okay, so this is, I think soap, some kind of soap from Tea Soaps and Owl Crate, and this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure if it's printed on the soap. And the soap is a secret garden. The scent is white tea and berries. It smells like white tea and berries, I believe. Next we have this car, or this magnet, that says La Phantom de l'Opera, which is obviously the Phantom of the Opera, and it's just a magnet. Maybe it has to do with the book. Not sure, but it's cute. We have some tea in here, which is loose leaf tea. Mint and rose herbal tea. I'm not really a huge fan of mint, but I'll probably still drink it because like tea. And it's from First Edition Tea Company and it's like the little print inspired, I guess, which is a book I have read, but I feel like I didn't appreciate it when I read it. Oh, it's a calendar. This is a calendar, which is cute. Um, did I need it? Not really, but it's cute. It's the Wanderlust calendar. And it has like collections from various like classic authors. There's Dan Barry, Lewis Carroll, oh these. I don't remember what they wrote. This is January. It's uh, Jan Barry. That's cute. This pin that says the Owl Crate Theater. Maybe that has to do with the book. And we have this bookmark, which is and nothing hurt and everything was beautiful, which I'm not sure what this is from. Ah, oh, it's from Slatter House Five which I did read, but I read it a long time ago. And last but not least, we have the book, Roseblood, which I have actually heard of. Yeah, she wrote the Splintered series by A.G. Howard. So it comes with signed book plate, which is always nice, and this letter from the author. And then we have the book, which looks like the covers of Splintered and like those books, like they look the same, which is interesting. I want to know if it's in the same world. Assume it's just a retelling of the Phantom of the Opera. I haven't read the Phantom of the Opera or seen the play, but I know the story, as most people do. So, yeah, this is cool. And I'm excited to read this at some point. Oh, ooh. And the pages, like, the text inside is red, which is cool. That's exciting. I'm more excited about the text than the actual book. And the next month's theme is Runaway with the Circus. Uh, I can already tell you what book this is going to be because it's a book that everyone's been talking about, but I won't spoil you for next month. So that has been my Owl Crate unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you got the Owl Crate, let me know what you thought about it down below. And if you feel so inclined, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!